Welcome and thanks for joining us. This video is intended for current Silver Streak boats owners or prospective buyers looking for more information on the care and operation of a Silver Streak boat. We hope you find this video informative. If you have further questions, please call your nearest authorized Silver Streak boats dealer. They will be happy to assist. Let's get started. Aluminum is known for being a low maintenance option in comparison to its fiberglass or wood counterpart. We will share some of our basic maintenance items to ensure your aluminum hull stays in good repair and looking great for years to come. Firstly and most importantly, ensure your hull anodes are installed on the boat and you are using the correct alloy for the type of water which the boat is being operated in. The type of anode will depend whether your boat is in salt, brackish, or fresh water. When your boat is due for its regular service, your dealership service department will check and replace your anodes as needed. If you choose to replace your own anodes, they can be purchased at any marine supply store or your local Silver Street boat dealership. Ideally, we want your anodes to look like this and be replaced when they look like this. If the anode is pitted and rough, this means it is functioning properly. Once the anode gets to be roughly this size, it is recommended to be replaced. Never store or install dissimilar metals on your boat. This includes copper and brass fittings. These dissimilar metals will cause corrosion over time. Another important preservation item is to avoid bottom paint from covering your anode brackets. This layer of paint will render your anode ineffective as there must be direct contact between the aluminum and the anode. We also encourage boat owners to test the amount of stray current when moored by way of an electrometer. Checking the water surrounding your boat when mooring for periods of time to avoid harmful stray electric currents can extend the life of your aluminum hull. These currents can originate from AC dock shoring systems or another boat's bilge or battery charger that is in close proximity. These stray currents can also cause corrosion. If you find your anodes are being corroded down quickly, you may want to consider moving your boat from that area or adding additional anodes to your boat's hull. We will touch more on this later in the video when we talk about proper storage. Aluminum can become naturally dull over time, and this is normal. So long as there is no pitting or scaling of the metal, this cloudiness does not affect the integrity of the material. Freshwater boats will not be susceptible to oxidation or etching as the saltwater boats are, but likely will sustain some discoloration under the waterline, which is normal and not harmful to the aluminum. Though regular washing cannot stop the natural dulling, it still remains to be an integral part of maintaining your aluminum boat. Some owners may not mind the expected clouding, while others prefer to either protect the factory shine or bring the shine back after exposure to the elements. We can offer solutions for both. If you are purchasing new and looking to keep the new aluminum luster, a clear coat product can be applied at the manufacturing facility. This is a great way to preserve the brilliance of the metal and it can last months to years before requiring reapplication. Reapplication frequency will depend on factors such as use of the boat and how often it is being trailered or kept in the water. The clear coat product can be purchased over the counter and easily applied with a simple rag or a paint roller, making it a fast and easy solution to protecting the aluminum hull. If you are a current owner or purchasing an older aluminum boat, and looking to revive the shine, this can be achieved to some degree as well. Bare aluminum can be polished and buffed just as you would with wheels on a car. It is very important to use a polish made for aluminum. Popular brands such as Mothers carry an aluminum only polish. If your boat requires sanding before polishing due to hard etching, we will have a video available soon to demonstrate how to properly do this without damaging the finish of your boat. Lastly, we want to elaborate on the importance of cleaning your boat regularly, but most importantly, after each use when pulled from the water. Rinsing with fresh water and a non-caustic degreasing soap with the bow up and all drain plugs removed will preserve the health of not only the aluminum, but the canvas, upholsteries, paint, and components. The frequency of cleaning will depend on how often the boat is being used or whether it is being moored. 
If your boat has developed growth on the bottom, this can negatively affect the aluminum, potentially cause drag while underway, and subsequently decrease fuel efficiency. While your boat is out of the water, scale away any crustaceans or other debris. A specialized marine-grade anti-fouling or bottom paint application can help to prevent this type of growth. We have covered aluminum care and will now move on to some other key maintenance items beyond the hull. Your Silver Street came with a factory supplied grease gun. As part of your regular maintenance, use this grease gun on all welded hinges and other moving parts such as doors, walk through windows and lockers to keep them moving freely. Keeping these hinges greased will prevent the doors from sticking and running the risk of snapping the aluminum hinge. Always ensure your drain plugs are in a good state of repair to prevent any water ingress. The rubber on your snap plug should be soft and not cracked. Your transom drain plug should also have its rubber seal intact and have no stripped threading on the plug itself. Replace if necessary. Another important maintenance item is to check that the deck waterways are clear of debris, allowing water to pass freely. If your vessel has a self-bailing deck, the water will exit by way of the rear scuppers. The scupper is a device located at the back of the boat that acts as a one-way throughway, allowing water to drain out safely without any reverse uptake. The scuppers we tend to use consist of a clear chamber with a ball inside. For the scupper to function properly, there cannot be any debris in the scupper chamber. If there is presence of debris, ensure you clear it out completely. Whether a self-bailing or a non-self-bailing deck, your boat will come standard with a bilge and bilge pump. The pump may be manual or automatic and functions to remove any accumulated water in the bilge compartment and out of the boat. Again, if this compartment or the gunnels funneling to it have debris in it, you could find that the bilge pump will not function properly. These pumps are made removable so you can easily check the screen or strainer and clean as needed. Silver Street boats are built with safety in mind. We have many safety features that can be added to the base model when customizing your boat build. As a standard, our vessels come with a specialized spray and foam flotation. This particular foam is a closed cell marine grade foam which expands and adheres to cover all target surfaces. The foam is strategically placed on hull sides to maintain level flotation while also avoiding waterways or drains in order to circumvent foam saturation. The quantity of foam used is based on a set calculation and varies from size and model of boat. Another important safety feature are handrails and grab rails, which you will find standard in all of our designs. Based on the use of your boat, more grab rails or handrails can be added. Height increases of various handrails such as bow and transom railing is available. For cabin boats, overhead rails can be added for added security when moving through the interior of the boat. At Silver Street Boats, we fully weld our seams, meaning no rivets and therefore eliminating the potential of leaks. Fully welded also means more rigidity and a quieter ride. We use a thicker gauge aluminum for the hull, increasing its overall durability. To help further strengthen the sides on certain models, a single or a double side stiffener can be found on the hull sides. The side stiffener functions to stop warping, increase the strength, and protect the hull side. Under the bow on the keel, you will find an additional strip of aluminum welded over the center seam, protecting the V of the bow. This is called the keel guard, or beaching wear strip, as it protects the most exposed area of the boat when underway or beaching on rocks or sand. Many models come standard with non-slip paint on the main deck, transom platform, and bow. This textured, gritty paint adds traction to high traffic areas where slipping may be a risk. This non-slip paint can be added to the side gunnels and any steps as well. Easy to hose down and repair if needed, this safety feature is very helpful when moving around your boat in adverse weather. The windows in our standard vessels are a quarter inch laminated tinted safety glass 
that will stay intact if struck. The glass used in these windows and doors are all ISO 12216 tested for extreme weather conditions. We are going to share some of our recommendations and techniques for safe trailering. From factory, we adjust all trailers to custom fit the specific boat it is sold with. If your trailer was outfitted with horizontal loading guides, it is imperative that you allow an air gap between the side guides as to avoid rubbing while transporting, resulting in wear on paint, clear coating, or vinyl wrap. If you did not purchase a trailer from factory or acquire a new trailer elsewhere, we suggest a full adjustment of the trailer to your Silver Street boat for safety purposes. For transportation, the boat should always be winched forward until the bow is resting snug on the bow roller. The strap is tight from the winch to the bow eye and the safety chain is attached to the secondary 3 8 inch hole in the bow eye. If the boat is not winched snug to the bow roller, the boat will bounce on the trailer while underway, posing potential risk of damage to your trailer or your boat and at the very least make for an uncomfortable ride. The boat should be centered and even on both sides as it sits in the cradle of the trailer. Ensure your motors are trimmed all the way up with the safety dogs in their transport position. Your transom tie downs are tight on the port and starboard stern eyes and if you have an antenna, it is in the down position. Ensure all gear such as nets, life preservers, cannonballs and rods are stowed away and not loose in gunnels or on the deck. Remove all cabin top rods and holders and ensure fenders are not left hanging over the hole sides after pulling the boat from water. Always test your trailer lights, do a check on tires, brakes, and ensure your coupler is in the locked position, the safety chains to your tow vehicle are crossed and attached to your vehicle with no drag but enough slack and your emergency brake cable is attached before departing. Launching your Silver Streak should be easy if you follow some simple steps and adhere to safety protocol. First and foremost, before launching, ensure your drain plugs are secured into position on your boat and your transom tie downs are removed. Undo the bow winch strap and safety chain from the bow eye. When launching, it is important to have the trailer wheel submerged enough to have the back of the boat buoyant without backing your vehicle too far into the water. If you jerk the brakes, the boat should come loose from the load guides or rollers. It should be relatively easy to have somebody walk the boat back and further into the water while the driver slowly pulls ahead with the trailer. Aluminum boats are lighter than their fiberglass counterparts, so you may find it easier to navigate loading and unloading from your trailer. If your boat is painted, vinyl wrapped, or has a vinyl hull decal, you may want to protect it by having your fenders in place, especially in adverse weather conditions. For loading while at the dock, trim your motors up, put your antenna in the down position, as well as any navigation lights, and ensure your gear is stowed away and ready for transport. Have your transport vehicle back the trailer into the water until the trailer wheels are submerged and the back of the bunks are submerged enough to allow someone to walk the boat up onto the trailer. There can be many factors that can affect loading, such as tides, wind, degree of boat ramp, whether there is a dock, and or type of water. So we recommend having an experienced boater with you if you are new to launching and loading. Once the boat is resting on the bunks and even between the horizontal loading guides with space between, hook up the winch to the bow eye and begin winching up to the post. Ensure the bow is tightly resting on the bow roller and then attach the safety chain. Once the boat is out of the water, place your rear transom tie down snug to the trailer and stern eyes. Pull the drain plugs and leave out until the next launch. Ensure you rinse and clean your boat, motor, and trailer as soon as possible once pulled from the water. Silver Street boats are wired and completed to a factory finish. This means that every boat has had its engine through hull, power adapters, rotary or hydraulic steering, and subsequent wiring installed from factory. We are ABYC accredited and our fully certified marine mechanics and electricians 
Install all these components and hardware following guidelines. This makes for a vessel that is easy to operate, has adequate access points for repairs or add-ons, and proper configurations, and products are used extending the life of all its components. All Silver Street Boats models from 17 foot and up have battery storage in the rear transom and always in their own battery boxes. This is also where you will find the power switch for your single or dual battery setup. Before starting your engines, ensure your selector is on battery 1 or 2 for successful ignition. Never turn your batteries off while the engine is running for risk of damaging your electrical system. Next to the batteries is a breaker switch. If it is in the off position, your dash components will not have power. Ensure the yellow lever is switched to the on position. On the dash, you will find the fuse panel and labeled switches that draw from your boat's battery to run items such as lights and wipers. There will also be separate switches for your trim tabs and bilge pump. If your boat is equipped with a deck washdown pump, you will find this switch near the system itself, usually found in the starboard stern gunnel. If your vessel has a built-in fuel tank under the deck, you will find the fuel fill on the side gunnel or near the bow. If you require access to the tank, there are access points in the deck that can be opened for inspection. Once ready to start the engine, confirm your main engine is trimmed down and the battery is in the on position. Have your throttle in neutral and start by turning the key. Allow your engines to warm up before disembarking. Your VHF will be located at the helm either on the dashboard or above the captain's chair. Always ensure your VHF is on the correct frequency for your area and functioning properly. You may want to do a radio check on an open channel. Instructions for this test radio transmission can be found in the Safe Boating Guide. Silver Streak boats are known for being efficient to run, safe to operate in poor weather, and easy to maneuver in many conditions. The company started its designs around the idea of building a boat that could handle the rough water and weather of the Pacific West Coast. With a deep dead rise to cut the chop, plenty of foam flotation, a wide beam, and ample freeboard, we were able to create a safe and user-friendly boat, making it universally easy and fun to operate for any boater, beginner to advanced. Each boat has a horsepower guideline, which indicates the maximum horsepower limits for that boat. Too much power can become a safety issue, either by the power itself or the sheer weight of the larger engine. Not enough power may cause untimely engine breakdown or an inability to get to plane, which then can create issues with maneuverability and visibility for the driver. Your boat should be able to come up to plane when underway and sit only slightly bow high in the water when still. Every vessel leaves with a capacity decal on the rear transom visible from the driver's seat. The capacity decal is a safety guideline for you and your passengers. On the decal, it outlines the maximum number of adult passengers and maximum allowable weight for power and cargo. It is also a Transport Canada requirement and Boating BC recommendation that there is a seat available for each passenger on board. Following Transport Canada's TP1332 standard, all pleasure and commercial vessels under 6 meters must adhere to the cargo and passenger capacity limits. If operating a landing craft model and carrying loads of equipment or materials on the foredeck, we recommend speaking with Silver Street Boats directly about weight restrictions as there can be deviation from recommendation based on customizations on your boat. When calling, please have your whole ID ready so we can better assist you. When storing your aluminum boat, whether in the water or on land, there are some important steps to consider to ensure it is stored correctly and safely. For mooring storage, ensure you have an automatic bilge that is in good working order. Set your auto bilge switch to auto and it will function when the batteries are off. Check that all your waterways, the bilge and scuppers are clear to allow any accumulated water to drain out. Inspect that the correct anodes are in place, adhered to their respective mounts, and are in good condition.
For a new mooring slip, check the electro currents in the water where your boat will be stored to ensure there are no stray currents that could affect your anode life expectancy. We recommend reading up on the galvanic scale and how this corrosion can take place as it is easy to prevent and good knowledge to have. Our last recommendation for boats stored outside is to invest in a canvas storage cover. This will keep rainwater off your aft deck and or unwanted sea critters out. Always check your covers after a snowfall as they are not designed to hold the weight and could collapse or tear. These covers are available to purchase at Silver Street Boats. Lastly, check on your boat often and tow out regularly to be washed. If storing your boat on land but not under cover or in dry storage, ensure the drain plugs are removed, your boat is clean, and the boat is sitting with the bow up to allow water to drain out. If storing your boat over colder months, drain the washdown pump and any water lines and winterize if needed to avoid pipes from splitting and breaking. Remove any seat cushions off bench seats or pedestals and store in a dry location. To get your boat and engine ready for the colder months while it is stored, it is our recommendation to bring your Silver Street to your dealer to have winterization services done. This will include such items as removing all water from the engines, pumps, and water lines throughout the boat, adding a fuel stabilizer to the fuel, and ensuring the batteries are fully charged. Any plumbing will have a propylene glycol solution added and circulated through the systems and lines. In the spring before launching, it is advisable to have an engine service done which will include such items as an oil change, replacing gear oil, and greasing of all fittings. Always store your boat with a tank nearly full of fuel. We recommend a high octane grade as it helps with the life of your fuel. Leave a small capacity of air in the tank to accommodate expansion of the fuel if the temperature rises during its time in storage. You may want to remove your batteries and keep them out of temperatures that go below zero degrees Celsius. If storing the batteries on the boat, ensure they are fully charged to avoid freezing or keep a trickle charger attached. When taking your boat out of storage and back into service, you can again visit your dealership to flush the systems of the antifreeze product and do a service check to ensure your engines and components are all in functioning order ready to use. Always check the health of your hinges, drain plugs, anodes, and seals before bringing your boat out for a season of use. It is good practice to carry on board your hinge grease, the supplied grease gun, extra drain plugs, and a basic tool set in case of emergency. Test your trailer lights by engaging your hazard lights in your vehicle. Spray fluid film in the tongue ball coupler, latch, winch, tongue jack, and any hitch pins for smooth operation of these moving parts. You will be ready to hit the water and enjoy another great season as a Silver Street boat owner. We hope you have found this video informative and we look forward to seeing you out on the water enjoying your custom Silver Streak aluminum boat.